Good morning, everyone. To kick things off this morning, we have TechCrunch and Crunch Fund founder Michael Arrington, iconic angel investor Ron Conway, and San Francisco Mayor Ed Lee. Where did, does the mayor always sit on the end or the side? Well, where would you like? I'm comfortable anywhere. Let's go. All right. Morning. Right no, oh, wait, no, you want to? No. Podium? All right. Uh, well, good morning. Wow. Welcome to TechCrunch Disrupt. I think everyone's still waking up. <laughs> uh, so we're going to. And we cannot see you, so. We're going to have for somebody out there. Is your, so I think there's a, a slide that we're going to put up that shows uh, some of the things that you've been working on. Is that up or it'll come up? There it is. There it is. Now, do you want to jump right in and talk about this a little bit and then I'll pepper you with questions along the way? Or Thank you. I will do okay. that. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to San Francisco. It's great to be here at TechCrunch. And uh, we got a little infographics here to talk about, uh, let you know what's going on in the city. And it's exciting. I'll highlight just a couple of things. Uh, 1,892 technology companies in San Francisco. That is wonderful. Yes. Woo! That's and a lot. Is that more? Is that, oh, that's up. Uh, up 3.6% up, up and continuing to go up. Uh, but what it also means is it's over 45,000 technology jobs created in the city. And you helped. The technology companies helped us employ some 31,000 people back to work. That's what we really call economic recovery. And every city in the country is attempting to do what we're already accomplishing. And I am so glad that we're working in partnership with all the different technology companies to help us. Uh, Ron has been steady there because uh, they formed an association called Citizens Initiative for Technology and Innovation. So it isn't a one-way street. We're not just helping companies start here and let them grow. The employees and the managers of these companies and ownership are helping us find solutions to improve government services, be a better city for that purpose. And this is all part of it. 25 tower cranes up now, a lot of construction people going to work. And those are just the cranes we see on the outside. There's a lot of historic buildings being renovated by tech companies who love the historic uh, sites of these buildings. And then a using the space in there in a very innovative way. We see that happening all over the city. Can I ask, ask a question? Yeah. So this is all great, but what about the people that are complaining that all of this is ruining San Francisco's affordability, creating gridlock, generally want it gone? Do you just say, screw those people, face the future, or are you trying to sort of... <laughs> no, 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 like no, that, that, that's a good point. In fact, that's what the challenge is for government like San Francisco, is to accommodate the 100% of everybody who wants to be here. And so uh, we've done some very important things in anticipation of our own success. We get these stories every time there's an economic recovery. My rents are going up, uh, we can't find enough space. And so what we've done was start planning with groups like SF City and other and business community along with our neighborhoods. One of the things we did was deal with housing. Last year, we joined with our technology leaders, our business leaders, and we passed Proposition C, which is a $1.2 billion housing trust fund, helps establish enough money to build more affordable housing. We've got to build more housing in the city in order to accommodate and make sure we protect uh, many of the rent control departments that we have. So building more housing is one of those great solutions. The other part, is transportation, uh, getting multiple modes of transportation in our city. So we kicked off last week, some of you saw it, uh, the Bay Area bike sharing program. Uh, it's not just San Francisco, the whole Bay Area. So literally, when you think about the future, I can take a bike from City Hall, ride down the Caltrain, <laughs> take that Caltrain down to Santa Clara, and then take Santa Clara Valley uh, right to the Levi Stadium. Is that a good going to make the first game of the 49ers. How about I walk out of City Hall, get in my SUV that's parked right out front because I'm the mayor, and then I drive where I have somebody drive me wherever I want to go. That's it's a that's Chevy. Cool. It's a Chevy Volt. That's an electric right. car. These bicyclists are a menace on the street. Have you seen them? They just do whatever they want. We, what are we going to do about the bicycle problem in San Francisco? <laughs> There's bike We're lanes. Okay, bike I have some other questions. 
This whole BART labor thing, are you pro-labor or pro-management? I am pro-agreement. Yes. I want labor and management to get to an agreement. Uh, I've demanded it on behalf of the public. We cannot stand for a strike that will cripple our Bay Area economy. And so taking this opportunity, as we've done in the city, we have a lot of labor agreements. We have very powerful labor leaders. But we've also managed to get yeah. them to the table, inform them about what the economics are, and then we come well, to an agreement. That's the way things should work. How are you going to crush the labor unions in this particular <laughs> instance? Because you said they're asking, they want more money, which is ridiculous. Ridiculous. And they also want health care, which is ridiculous. And so how do you just say no and get them back to work so people can, well, you know, it, stop it, doing Michael, it's always about honest discussions. You know, I know BART wants to have money to invest in its infrastructure, in yeah. its assets, just like we do at Muni. And we also want them to have a good life, the workers. We want to have a good life. Health care is going up. Uh, there are a lot of costs that people are in control. So it's a matter of being honest about the numbers and having the, enough discussions so that people don't have their political views governing it so much as what's the economics of BART. Everybody's got to be engaged in that. Okay, but just do this. You don't have to say it, but just wink if like you're going to crush labor on this, right? You're going <laughs> to get them, right? You winked. I saw it. Okay, I, I, we can move on. <laughs> Why are you suing a uh, flight car? You talk about loving startups, but your government's suing flight car. Well, the city attorney is. The city attorney's office, uh, not the mayor. has a problem. But mayor. he works for the mayor, right? There's, no, he doesn't. I, I don't. Unfortunately, he's elected. Oh. So you have nothing to do? Well, I'm not so sure there's a lawsuit yet. I think I think there's been problems expressed. At the same time, I, I have been promoting a lot of our multiple modes of transportation in the city, yep. Uber, Sidecar, Lyft, along with, I'm promoting taxis. We got a lot of taxi mail uh, drives out there as well. Between Uber, Sidecar, and Lyft, which one is the one that you choose when you, when you have to decide? When the vault is broken down? You know, I'll probably choose bicycle. <laughs> No, I don't. <laughs> what do you personally do to protect yourself from NSA snooping and also to protect the city? Well, you know, uh, that's, I mean, it's a great conversation. We, we need more people discussing this very delicate issue. You know, I, I'd be honest. I'd be very honest with you. The first impression is I'm not going to put more information on uh, the internet, personal information. Yeah. It's personal because uh, you kind of don't know where it's going to go. You know, all of this debate that's going on. So that's a very honest, uh, strong feeling that I have. At the same time, there's an objective here that I think a lot of people are talking about, which is, you know, uh, what's the level of safety we're willing, or what's the balance that we right. need to have. Uh, but I don't like personal information being used for things that I didn't agree to. Right. I was one of the persons that was in charge of putting street crime cameras onto the city streets. Yeah. Boy, did we have a, a big, big debate about that in the city. Yeah. But we got to a balance where we inform people ahead of time, this is where we're going to put them. These are the reasons why. We'll turn them off during people's protests or marches or things that we, out of respect for their, for their efforts, yeah. that we're not trying to do something that they've agreed not to do. Yeah. At the same time, we want to stop criminals from acting uh, the way they have in the, in the areas of the city to make uh, street life safer for everybody. So there was an honest discussion at the forefront, and that's why the cameras are up. That's why they're helping the police department work. But it's a balance, and it's an open discussion about that to happen. All right, anything else that you want to highlight? Uh, we're about done here. Well, again, I want to thank uh, TechCrunch Disrupt. Uh, I want to just make sure that we're all working together. I know uh, we were reminded uh, as late as yesterday that, uh, you know, with these uh, kind of juvenile programmers, that we ought to make sure that we work together to get uh, more people involved, particularly women involved in, our, in the tech industry. Uh, I'm working really hard with the new me accelerator and uh, women in tech and uh, code 2040 to really increase the participation I'm working with our middle schools uh, for the first time in the history of our middle schools they've got free Wi-Fi they got Wi-Fi in the schools you see these kids working for the first time uh, their iPads in the school that's a wonderful wonderful thing and we're going to create uh, a generation of people uh, I know uh, Ron is working very hard on getting kids Kids used to doing some coding, uh, and I think that's going to be fantastic. So with uh, code.org. Yeah, and we'll talk a little bit more about that because you're staying on stage. The mayor has to run and a lot of things to work on. Crush a labor union but, or something. <laughs> 
And then I also want to say thank you to those companies that joined me in the uh, citywide ping pong tournament. I know every uh, technology company's got a ping pong champion. Don't, you'll never measure up to us in the city. Wow. We'll have that competition in the city to... Yeah, and that, that's at Airbnb's new headquarters, yeah. which is across the street, but I don't know the you exact You are date. personally playing ping pong against... Absolutely. You have to have the first Asian hey, mayor. You. Of course. I'm not a ping pong player. You're going to ride your bicycle from City Hall to Airbnb. And then yes. you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna. Okay, I'd like to see that. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Thank Mayor. you, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. So, and I'm gonna go get Coach yeah. and David. And